Hey guys, my name is Justin Robertson and I go to Copper Point Church here in Albuquerque, New Mexico and I'm going to share my testimony with y'all. Um, ever since I was little, I can remember going to church every Saturday night with my parents, with my sisters. It was never necessarily a requirement for us, but we actually liked going. It was a lot of fun. It was our one of the only modern churches that we had here in Albuquerque. And once I reached middle school, um, our parents finally like kind of started going away from church due to soccer tournaments for all the kids and everything. And I started going to a new church. It was Methodist Church with one of my best friends. I got involved with the choir, got involved with the youth group. We went on missions trips. One of the mission trips, we went to New Orleans. It was right after Katrina hit. And it was a lot of fun being able to serve other people, being able to help them clean up their yards and being able to spread the gospel because it, it was just what I felt like we needed to do and what we were called to do. And that's where I really grew my love for people at that moment. Well, after that, I went into high school, and it was my freshman year, started playing football, started hanging out with my old friends, started making new friends, and they were starting to get into the drug scene. I saw how much fun they were having, so I kind of started to go with them. I ended up actually ending friendships beforehand, but regaining them back after I kind of started getting in that group and that scene, and I smoked weed for a week, and then I stopped because I realized it wasn't fun, I wasn't doing anything with my life, you know, it just, it was just kind of a downer. And my friend that summer went to the pastor of our church at the time and told him that I was addicted to smoking weed because he heard that I did it a few times. And this led to my pastor setting up a meeting with me. He demanded that I told my parents or I needed to leave the church. And I told him that I wouldn't tell my parents just because I needed to tell them on my own time when the time was right. And he said that I needed to leave the church and never come back. And that left a really rotten sore spot in my heart. For the church and and I really didn't ever want to go back to church. I never wanted to be a part of one. Um, for the next few years, I started getting more into the drug scene. I started doing prescription pills, smoking weed, shrooms, um, ecstasy, cocaine, and that lasted for about three years. I ended up starting dealing drugs and at that point in my life, I really loved it because I felt like I was living. I felt like I was alive. I felt like I was having fun. I had very good friendships at the time, what I thought was very good friendships. And I continued that for, for a good three or four years. When I was a senior, we started going to 212, which is a youth group here in Albuquerque. And it slowly started radically changing my life. And we went to a camp um, my senior year in high school, and it was called Boiling Point. And I felt God really actually get a hold of me then, grasp me, and, and I really felt his peace, his love, and his grace that I'd never felt or experienced in my entire life. So we decided to continue to go to church. You know, I became a leader at 212, and now I am doing CPSL. I'm an intern here at the church, and, and it's a life that I would never want to walk away from ever again. And I, I know that God has called me into the church. At first, I thought it was to be a pastor, but now I know that God has just called me to serve in the church and be a part of the church, not necessarily to be a pastor and be on stage, but to be doing anything. And I, I love the technical side of everything. I love being an associate technical director here at the church. It's, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of learning experiences. But, you know, I, I never thought that I would be where I'm at four years ago. And, you know, I really felt God's love, his grace, his salvation for us in that moment. And, you know, I'll be four years clean and sober this July, which I'm very excited and very happy about, but I wouldn't have been able to do that without God's grace and his love. And, you know, it's just, it's amazing to actually fully experience it firsthand. Um, so I'm very excited about what is to come. And, you know, I, I really felt that God walked me down Romans Road. I mean, word for word, I, I really found why I needed salvation, you know, how God provided salvation for me and for others. Um, I realized how we receive salvation and the results of salvation. And, you know, it's, it's incredible to receive God's love and, and be able to have a personal relationship with Him. For so many years, all I wanted to have was, you know, or I, all I really did was believe in God, but I never actually had a personal relationship with Him. And now that I do have that personal relationship with Him, I understand His love, I understand him more than I ever have in my entire life. It's been it's been radically life-changing and I'm really excited to see what's to come.